Hey guys, it's Postbox Pat and welcome back to a new video and this is a question I have been getting for a very long time. Pat, how do you level up quickly in Fortnite or how do you level up your battle pass tiers very quickly? Now this is a good question and it's something that I've been thinking about and something that is very informative and the way I'm going to tell you about this is something that you could, could consider doing if you don't have enough time to play the game every single day. So, let's talk about the different ways of leveling up very easily. So, the battle pass is something which I do recommend buying in the game because you get a bunch of content and it is a very cheap item and you get the V-Bucks back. Obviously you're turning your money into V-Bucks which you can't turn V-Bucks back into money but you do get a bunch of cool content and you get enough content to last you for the game's lifetime technically. But obviously future battle passes are actually going to be real money purchases and you will not be able to buy future battle passes with V-Bucks. So that's something they've announced and they may change it but that is something they've announced. So let's talk about battle pass and leveling up. So to level up quickly with your XP it's simply just play games and do challenges. We all know that's pretty simple, but there's some strategy to it a little bit as well. Now, when it comes to leveling up and playing games, there's a few different XP things you can get. You've got a bunch of different stuff. You've got survival time, got a kill, kills, placement, and battle pass bonus, and friend bonus. Now, they're the five different things, as you can see them on screen right now. They're the five different... Uh, six different things sorry that you can actually get from this now survival time is obviously how long the game goes on for and how long you survive now the game went on for roughly 23 minutes that i have the screenshot of here for and it is actually going to be one of the gameplays i'm going to be bringing out very soon it goes on for roughly 23 minutes and eight second or when it's the eight 80 percent of 60 seconds so 200 so every minute is roughly 10 xp on that got a kill is obviously if you get a kill you get 50 xp kills 100 xp now, I'm not 100% sure how it grants you the XP for kills because I got 9 kills in that game, but I got 100 XP. So, I wasn't 100% sure where it was granting me the kills for that because 100 divided by 9 goes into 100 egg exactly. It doesn't go exactly into it. It goes into it as 11.111. So, maybe you get 11 XP per kill. I'm not 100% sure there. Uh, but then placement, you've got placement, which was 300, which was first place. So, that's pretty awesome. And that's something in squads. And then I got Battle Pass bonus, which is 413 XP, and then fro Friend bonus, 69. So that Battle Pass bonus is just an XP boost from what I've already got. And also the Friend bonus is something which I get from friends having the bonus of 10%, and everyone had the Battle Pass. So I got an ultimate Friend bonus in this gameplay. So it's something that I do recommend considering if you're playing with a squad, make sure they've all got the Friend bonus because you'll get the most XP. So let's get off this and talk a little bit about it in general so to level up very quickly you're going to require obviously the battle pass if you want to get all the tiers leveled up this is the best way now if you haven't got the battle pass and you haven't purchased it yet then this video may not be useful for you and may not actually help you out in the way that you want it to help you out because in all honesty this video is not really suitable for people who don't have the battle pass because to be honest you can only go up to level 35 with the battle pass with just the original version not the purchased version not the one you have to buy and level 35 sorry and there isn't much there and you really don't really need to play the game that much to get to that stage but if you have purchased it or you just want to level up in general this is the best way to do it so let's take a little look into this and have a little look at the challenges so you've got the idea of having the share bonus and things like that which you do get from the battle pass but the challenges are very key now with the battle pass you get an additional challenge every single day so every single day you'll get one plus daily challenge however from what i've gathered these battle pass challenges the orange ones there do not stack whereas daily challenges they do stack so this is something you should consider let's have a little look at this so your battle pass challenges do not stack so Basically, you have to play every day to complete them. If you don't, if you miss one, it won't stack. However, your daily challenges stack up to three, and I've actually had four stack up at one stage. I think it was glitched out, but I've had four stack. So that's pretty awesome. And the good thing about that is you can stack three challenges, come on every single three days, and do each three challenges, which will give you 15 points to rank up your tier. You'll probably level up once or twice as well, and you'll rank up your tier instantly every three days. So that's really awesome. That's an easy way of doing it if you haven't got time. However, Obviously, with the Battle Pass stuff, with the challenge there that is, doesn't stack the orange ones, you'll have to come on every day to do that from what I've gathered so far. You'll have to come on every day. So, unfortunately, it's a little bit unfortunate, which is kind of annoying, which will be awarded every day if your Battle Pass challenge slot is empty. So, it is annoying, but, you know, it is worth it, and it's just an extra challenge. So you can actually do four challenges every three days, which will give you 20 every three days, which is really awesome. And you don't have to play it every day, then. You can just play it one every three days if you're the sort of person who's quite busy and you don't have time for that. If you're not busy, however, complete your challenges straight away, do them off the bat, get your challenges out of the way every single day, 
and then you'll rank up very quickly. And then it's up to you if you want to play just to earn XP to rank up your tiers. Now, XP itself, like I was saying, isn't that hard to get hold of. With the Battle Pass, it actually grants you a 1,000 XP at different tiers, which really does help yourself level up. The 1,000 XP isn't very useful. It just kind of helps you progress towards more tiers, really. But as you level up, you'll notice you get another personal XP boost, and you get a bunch of personal XP boosts. So if we go through this, you get 50% there. And then another one, that's 60%. If we keep going through, there's a friend one, so that's five on the friend. You get another one here, that takes you to 70% there. Let's take a little look here. Another 5% on your friend, it's Pewis, that'll take you to 15, uh, because I think you get one at the start as well. So now we're on 70% on your boost and 15 on your friend percent. Let's keep going through here. Is that the one we've already looked at? Oh no, I've missed, I've lost track. <laughs> Let me go quickly through. All right, so yeah, that's the 15% one there. Another one and then that takes you to 80% on your boost. That takes you to 20% on your friend boost. You got another one there. Takes you to 90% on your boost. Another one there. That takes you, I've lost count, 35% on your friend. Let's leave out the friend boost one for now. Then you got 100% on there. So you got 100% XP boost now. Another one, which takes you to 110 XP boost. And that will be the last one before you get the Black Knight outfit if you work it up. So that's absolutely crazy. It'll show you that you're going to be ranking up in a crazy amount of time playing a lot less games. Now, your friend XP boost isn't as easy to do. With your friend XP boost, it doesn't. It only helps your friends out. It doesn't help yourself. But obviously, if your friends are doing it, they can play with you. They can help you out. So you got one there. So that's 5%. Oh, it's 10% these ones. That's, uh, I'm really confused. <laughs> uh, what's this one here? Okay, personal XP boost. Personal XP boost. Friend one. That's 5. 10. Let's keep going through. 15, 20. I think you can only get your friend XP boost up to about 25% after counting, because these are all fives. So I've only seen there's 15, there's 20, and there's 25. 25 is there on that page there. Yes, yeah, so you can only get your friend XP boost to 30% by the looks of it on here. Yeah. So you can get your friend XP boost to 30%, which is pretty cool. So you can get your friend XP boost to 30% and your one to 110. So that's a crazy amount of XP once you level up to all that. And it's something that I do highly consider working out or just you doing that and getting it done and you'll be able to level up extremely fast. So you'll be able to get your tiers maxed out and get all the gear that you have been asking for in the comment section. So that's the best way. Sorry about that little bit misconfusion there by counting all the different things. It does happen sometimes. My brain was just getting a little bit fuzzled. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty cool and uh, they're really awesome and I think it definitely is worth buying the Battle Pass for that extra XP boost in that sense if you really want to level up too. You've also got the standard version of the Battle Pass which is pretty cool. You get some cool things in it. They've added a few different things like Ride the Pony wasn't originally in it and it has been added. That is actually from PvE, that emote, and it's a pretty cool emote in PvP, so uh, PvE, sorry. So I assume they've probably just put it in free for that sense because obviously if you didn't know the PvE is, is becoming free very soon. I do have a video on the release date for that. I do have a video talking about that as well on my channel so go and check them out if you haven't already. But yeah, that's the easiest way to level up. Other than that, you're going to need to win your games. Now if you're struggling to win your games, I have a bunch of tips and tutorials on my channel on how to win every single time. Do go and check them out. Most of you have probably already checked them out, but they are a really cool tips and trick video. And in honesty, I look back at them a lot and I do pretty well by watching my own videos, which sounds pretty weird. But I do watch back. I don't watch back with the audio, obviously, because kind of cringe a little bit because it's my own voice if I'm sat there in my room watching a 20 minute video but I sometimes listen to the audio sometimes turn it off a little bit listen to it and just watch the footage sometimes and just watch how I actually play watch yourself back and you will improve that's another thing as well if you want to win more games do watch yourself back and you will improve so very easy to do and it is very it is recommended and I do recommend watching yourself back play the game because it does help you improve I've watched myself play back well obviously when I'm editing videos I watch myself play and I'm like ah that was a very good thing when you think when you're playing the game you don't think about it but when you it's just instinct usually when you play the game a lot you start to get instinct and when you actually watch back you start to realize oh wow have I as if that came to my mind at that stage the game is actually when you're actually trying to win games it's not as easy as you think it's very it's a mental thing as well as it is physical with the game I sound like some sort of psychologist now but I'm being serious the game is a mental thing and a physical thing combined you've got to make the right decisions at the right time and stuff like that and build the right things fast enough be able to make the right decision at the right moment it really does affect the gameplay a lot it is down to decision making which comes mentally and not actually physically so pretty interesting a lot of games technically are like that because obviously you use your brain to think but when it comes down to fortnite it can come up to that either aspect i've never really mentioned that i may do another video actually covering how the game isn't down to just always how you play it's down to your decision making and i do cover that i do talk about it a lot but i don't really emphasize it enough to understand to, to let new people who are new to the game they need to know that and it's something that 
will help you win a lot more games. So as you can see, my battle pass is almost at 15. One more tier to go and I'll be at 15. I have been trying to smash the battle pass out enough. In all honesty, getting to 70 is not going to be easy at all. I think that's going to be a difficult one to do and it's something that possibly many many people will do over time. But how many days have we got left? 61 days. It's been out for a not that long, to be honest, but we've got a good chance of getting there, and I think I'm going to make it, but it's going to take a while. I think I've got to let this challenges stack up a little bit, maybe complete that solo mode one there, get that ammo box one done, and uh, all my challenges that are currently on my screen, and you will get a chance of being able to get there eventually if you keep trying it out. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. That's really it for this video. Tell me in the comment section below how you've been leveling up and how what's your best tips for leveling up. That's my fastest guide for you guys to level up on Fortnite. Again, it is very easy to do. You've just got to concentrate. Buy that battle pass if you really want to get your tiers up or if you already have the battle pass, stack up your challenges if you don't have enough time to play the game. Like I said before, this is just a summary. And if you do have a lot of time to play the game, do your challenges every single day and get that bit back will pass daily one done and if you need extra xp get your friends with battle passes in your game and you'll get that extra boon uh, extra <laughs> extra bonus <laughs> i said boo instead whoops but yeah i hope you guys have enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe and once again this is postbots pat signing out